As the year 2020 is coming to a close, there are a lot of great skins released in League of Legends this year, so I want to do a countdown and see which skins are the best in my opinion. So in today's video, we have a top 10 League of Legends skins of 2020. While my channel direction has been changed to gaming related top 10s, sometimes I want to focus on game specific lists too, and League was a big thing in the past on this channel, so what the heck, why not do some of those for all time's sake too. And without further ado, hello guys, my name is Apodix and I hope you enjoy the video. Let's start the list at number 10 spot with Cosmic Flight Anivia. As the skin name implies, there are a lot of cosmic vibes surrounding Anivia, and it looks really similar to the champion Aurelion Soul. There are also unique visual effects on her abilities which adds to the richness as well as it's really distinguishable from her other skins available. And can I just quickly note about the splash art, it just looks super dope and I really think it gives the skin justice with its great visual fidelity. Alongside Cosmic Flight Anivia, there were 8 other cosmic skins released to the table. Cosmic Charger Hecarim, Cosmic Invoker Ilaoi, Dark Cosmic Lissandra, Cosmic Destiny Nami, Cosmic Huntress Nidalee, Cosmic Stinger Skarner, Cosmic Hunter Varys and Cosmic Devourer Vladimir. Wow, that was a mouthful. I do like these skins too, but I think the Anivia stands out the most from the bunch. Also, on top of everything, there are 9 available chroma color options to Cosmic Flight Anivia, so overall, with everything said here, it earns the 10 spot in this list. Moving to number 9 spot, we have Spirit Blossom Yasuo in the list. At first glance, you might think the skin overall has some girly vibes with the pink light hair and everything, but I think since it stands out so well from his other skins, it's a nice addition to the Yasuo skins lineup. I also really like the splash art as it gives me a lot of Japanese vibes and thus a very chilling aura overall. The animations are really wonderful too, and I especially like his second ability, Wind Wall, because it reminds me a lot of those moving desktop wallpapers. And as you might have guessed, this skin also has 8 different chroma colors available, which is pretty neat, and there were other Spirit Blossom skins released alongside Yasuo during its July time period, such as Spirit Blossom Teemo, Thresh and Ari, which all are really appealing, but the Yasuo skin stood out the most for me, and in terms of this list's variety, I want to give other skins a chance too. At number 8 spot, we have Furyhorn cosplay Viger, and Viger being one of my favorite champions of all time, I am very pleased for this addition. It takes a funny twist on things because Viger is by nature usually evil, but now there is a cute tone all over him. The Furyhorn costume Viger wears is really adorable and the fact he uses a golden spatula as a weapon is just a great twist. The ability's visual side is also unique with more spatulas and fury horns added to the mix, which all in all looks really funny. During the April Fool's Day, there were two more skins released alongside this Viger skin, named Pengu Cosplay Tristana, which also has a really cute vibes going on, and Pajama Guardian Cosplay Ergot, which um, is a weird mashup, but cool I guess? And yeah, I almost forgot to mention that there are 8 different chroma colors available for Furyhorn Cosplay Viger skin, which is also a plus in my book. It seems that a lot of the newer skins have chroma variants to them, and I think it's not a bad thing to give these skins variety and unique color options. But with everything mentioned here, Furyhorn Cosplay Viger really stands out for me, and is therefore one of my favorite 2020 League skins. Let's take a look at number 7 spot, as we have Infernal Velkos on our hands. I really, really like the skin and how it has been executed. The flaming visuals fits very well for Velkos, and this skin just defines the word amazing to me. Obviously, the abilities on this skin also has the fiery visuals, which do look really great, and the splash art is really breathtaking with the in-depth visuals. Alongside Infernal Velkos, there were also Infernal Karthus and Kennen released, which do look really nice, but nowhere near as appealing as the Velkos skin is. And to top it all off, if you don't like the original colors, there are also, surprise surprise, 6 different chroma colors to choose from that adds to the variety. And before moving forward, my last note has to be regarding the Velkos's eye. Eye of Sauron? Is that you?
Next, we have number 6 spot with Dark Star Malphite as well as the Prestige Edition which both look really great. This skin really gives me the aforementioned Cosmic Fly the Nevia vibes because of the orb thingy in the center of Malphite and well, that is to be expected because after all, the skin is called Dark Star Malphite. What's with these space theme vibed skins Riot keeps pushing out as there are so many of them and they're usually really well executed, I gotta be honest. Anyways, this Malphite skin is really nice, with good unique visual animations and whichever version you're using, they both look really good. Alongside Darkstar Malphite, there were other skins released like Cosmic Lux, Dark Cosmic Lux, Darkstar Mordekaiser and Xerath, which are all really appealing skins too, but I prefer the Malphite from the skin category and therefore it deserves the 6th spot in this list. Moving to the 5th spot, let's talk about a skin called Pulsefire Illusion that also has the Prestige Edition available. As a personal fan of the Pulsefire skins lineup, I was really pleased with the addition of Lucian getting into the fun. The details on both versions give very futuristic vibes as the Pulsefire skins are known for that kind of style and with Lucian's case it's no different. There were other Pulsefire skins released at the same time alongside Lucian named Pulsefire Echo, Fiora and Pantheon which are really awesome additions too, but again, I had to choose one to keep the list from getting too repetitive, so Pulsefire Illusion takes the fifth spot as a result in this list. At number 4 spot, we have Little Devil skin for Fizz that looks just really menacing. Back in 2016, there was a skin called Little Devil Teemo, which I believe I mentioned in my top 10 Teemo skins video, but it's nice to see more additions to this niche category of skins because the devil theme fits for Fizz as well. Anyways, Little Devil Fizz looks well, just like a devil and he uses a golden trident as a weapon, which is a nice touch. While the abilities on this skin look really spot on, the highlight has to be his ultimate Chum the Waters, as it spawns another devil-like creature from the ground that apparently is the Little Devil Teemo himself. Hmm, interesting choice there, right? Little Devil Fizz also has 8 different chroma colors available and I gotta be honest, the ruby colors do look really nice from the bunch. Let's take a look at the third spot, Astronaut Gnar, which is absolutely one of my favorite skins of 2020. The astronaut group finally gets more helpers, as within the late May's release, there were 3 astronaut skins released. Astronaut Bard, Poppy and Gnar, and I do like all of them, but Gnar is no doubt my absolute favorite of those three. Astronaut Gnar is just super adorable, as I like the animations and visual presentation on both regular and his mega form. It also stands out well from his other skins available, which is great, and the mini version of Gnar actually somewhat reminds me of Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank series. Also, as you might have guessed, Astronaut Gnar has 6 different chroma colors available, but I think the original color palette suits the skin the best. For number 2 spot, we have Psyops Pike, which is no doubt one hell of amazing skin. I personally do not even play the Champion Pike, but this skin just looks really insane with the overall blue appearance, very cool ability details and the Psyops theme fits for this character perfectly. It was really difficult to choose one entry from the Psyops family of skins because alongside Psyops Pike there were 9 other Psyops skins released as well, named Psyops Ezreal, Regular and Prestige, Master Yi, Shen, Sona, V, Kale, Victor, Zed and Samira. It's nice to see a big arsenal of skins in the same category, especially when they look really awesome, but Psyops Pike takes the cake for me and therefore deserves the second spot in this list. And of course, there are 8 chroma colors available for Psyops Pike that adds to the overall variety as well. At number 1 spot, we have none other than Mecha Kingdom's Jax. I just think this skin is pretty much perfect and the word Mecha alone got me sold out on this one. The armor Jax wears just screams epic to me as I love the details and the amazing effort Riot delivered with this skin. The animations on Mecha Kingdom's Jax are also pretty cool and I really like how the armor activates during combat when the wings spread that also adds to the richness of this skin. 
There were also other Mecha Kingdom skins released alongside Jax, called Mecha Kingdom Set, Draven, Garon Regular and Prestige, as well as Leona, that I really like a lot as well. There are also 5 chroma colors available for Mecha Kingdom's Jax, and my favorite is the Peacekeeper from the additional colors available. All in all, the year 2020 had a ton of really good skins released, but every top 10 comes with a list of 10 entries, and thus, Mega Kingdom's Jax takes the top spot in this list. Okay, so that's it for the top 10 League of Legends skins of 2020 list. Hope you guys liked what I was able to compile together. If you enjoyed this top 10, like this video as it helps me to grow, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more great gaming related top 10 videos to come. It's been a month now since I returned to YouTube scene, and it seems not even all of my subscribers are aware that I'm back on track. So please, if you appreciate the content I'm producing right now, spread the word out so more people can enjoy my videos. Thanks. Also, huge shout out to Skin Spotlight's YouTube channel and their huge catalog of leak skin videos, because I could not make this video without the resources, as I do not own these skins myself that were showcased in this video. Thank you for watching, my name is Epodix and have a nice day.